So far in this tutorial series, we've only created one single article menu item, which is the Art Gallery Home menu item, which you see here, and that's connected to the Welcome to the Art Gallery article. We created the article in tutorial 6 of this series and the menu item in tutorial 7. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a featured article menu item and show or display several different articles on one page within Joomla. To get started, we'll return to the back end of the site and open up the article manager. I've created three additional articles here for us to work with. They appear at the top of this list and each of those articles has been saved in the art classes category. Before we feature those articles, we're going to unpublish an article. It'll be this getting started article that came with our Joomla site. I'll click on the green check mark, which will be replaced with an X, indicating that that's now an unpublished article. In the same status column, you may notice this star icon, and if I click on that, this first article becomes a featured article. I'll do the same with the other two articles that I wrote, and now all three are featured articles. The next step after featuring the articles is to create the featured article menu item type by opening up our menu manager. Remember, we have two menus when we launch the site, but we want to work on the main menu, so I'll open that up, and here's the one menu item that we currently have, so I'll click on the new button to create a new menu item. And as always, I want to first add a title in for the menu item, and this will be our art classes. And next, I want to select the menu item type. I'll click on the select button here to view all the menu item types, and there are many, but I want to go to the articles options and select featured articles. Any article that we featured in our article manager will automatically be displayed through this menu item. Lastly, we want to make sure that we are in fact saving this on our main menu. So let's select main menu here and then we'll click on save in the toolbar. With the article saved, we'll return to the front end of the site and refresh the page. We can see the art classes menu item appear in the main menu. And if I click on it, I can see that if I scroll down, each of the three articles I wrote appears here. Now we do have some formatting to do on this page and I'll do that in the next tutorial but you also noticed how the login form and our banner appear on this page as well and we want to remove these modules from this page so we'll return to the back end of the site. Let's save and close this menu item and we'll open up our module manager. I mentioned this in tutorial 9 of this series, but if we open up an individual module, we can click on the menu assignment tab and we can see that this module is displayed on all pages. I'll select only the pages selected here and then I'll deselect all pages. I only want this module to appear on my art gallery homepage, so I'll select it. The user menu is a menu that we're going to talk about in a later tutorial. Once that's selected, I'll click on save and close and I want to repeat the process for the login form. So again, I'll open it up. I'll click on the menu assignment tab. My module assignment will be only on the pages selected. I'll deselect all of them, then select Art Gallery Home. Let's go ahead and save and close this module. We'll return to the front end of the site and refresh the page again. You can see that the banner module and the login form have been removed from this page, but they are still on our home page. There are still some things to attend to on this page, including the layout of the page and also the details that were published with the article by default. The article options will be the subject of the next tutorial.